Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion, and in this video, we're going to be doing something very special. This is going to be my first Rank 2 7 Star. And one of the reasons that I decided to do this is because I have a feeling that the new progression title is soon. I don't know how soon. And it's probably going to have something to do with seven stars. So I want to be kind of prepared. So I've been taking up six stars to rank five. I think I have uh, four of them. But I'm going to switch gears and start taking up some of my seven stars. And I don't want to give you guys any extra hints, shall we say. So I'm going to show you some options, but not all of them are actually options, okay? So first up is going to be Ebony Maw. Yes, Fear the Maw, a rank two seven-star Ebony Maw coming to your battlegrounds soon. Anyway, that was one of my options, okay? And I don't think I have to tell anybody why. He is a beast on defense. Very annoying. There are counters to him. And if you know how to fight him, you can fight him with a, a variety of champions. But if you don't have a good counter, you're going to hurt. Okay? Just, it, it's going to hurt. Now, the next one is going to be Elsa Bloodstone. I absolutely love Elsa Bloodstone. You guys already know. You've seen me. She is a double threat. She can go on offense. She can go on defense. I love that girl. And not only is she friendly to the recoil masteries, but when she has a bleed debuff on her, she'll degen you if you're not a mutant. A lot of people have found that out the hard way in uh, Battlegrounds. Very, very nasty. All right. Uh, the next one is going to be Bishop. Bishop is a beast. Okay. Y'all already know. He is crazy good. Now, I don't really use him that much. I do use him in Battlegrounds. And I've seen him do quite well against Korg. I've seen him do uh, well against a variety of people. I, I tend to have him on defense, but he can do offense as well, okay? Now, the final one is Domino. Do I have to tell anybody about Domino and how annoying she is? Domino is crazy on defense, okay? She's also good on offense, so she's also a double threat. Do any of you guys want to fight my rank two domino? Anybody? In a Battlegrounds? If you have a good counter, yeah. Other than that, pretty sure you don't want that. And pretty sure she'll get banned quite often. All right? So anyway, those are the four options. Okay. If you think you can guess which one of those I decided to take up to rank two, leave a comment below. But we are about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Bishop, my brother. Okay, so we already know Bishop is a beast on defense. He's also good on offense, and you're going to see that a little bit later. Uh, we're going to fight uh, a Korg, and we're going to fight, you know, in a Realm of Legends as well, uh, just so you guys can see a little bit of uh, Bishop in a... <laughs> it's funny to say in lower level content, but at this point, Realm of Legends is lower level content, right? So Bishop has very very good utility most people don't want to fight bishop you need a good counter for bishop okay 
And there are some good counters. And at this point in time, Iron Man is coming out with a rework. And it looks like he's going to be a good counter for Bishop. But Infamous Iron Man is already a good counter for Bishop. And there are other counters, uh, usually tech, you know, Warlock is a good counter. Um, as long as you know how to fight Bishop, most techs can handle him pretty well. But in Battlegrounds, he is crazy. And he is also good on offense against certain champions. Uh, one of the things that I learned is that if they're not incinerate immune, he's going to really, really hurt them. Not only that, but if they tend to purify or cleanse um, when he does a parry and they do that, they take damage and they get stunned. I think it, it gets replaced with a passive stun. So that makes him a great Korg counter. All right. So anyway, that is why I decided to take Bishop to rank two. Not only do I think that there's going to be a new um, uh, progression title, but Bishop himself is just nasty. I thought about taking uh, Domino up. If my Domino was already duped, I probably would. And if I had a Hulk, you already know. That would have just been a no-brainer. I love Hulk. He would have gone up. But I don't have Hulk yet. Now, if I do get Hulk, then you already know I'm going to be working on him. Uh, but anyway, let's get to fighting with Bishop and see what this rank two, my first rank two can do. All right, so I'm going in with just Bishop. That's it. No synergies active. And I want to try a few things here uh, that I learned from fighting him. I don't really use him a whole lot. So one of the things I want to do is I want to quickly fire off a special one. All right, and then I want to get close to him. I just want to be close to you. And do all the things you want me to. Anyway, um, look at the uh, incinerates. I'm loving that. I've got 30 plus. Ooh! Oh, that was ugly. Okay. Well, that was nasty. You guys got to see the special one and the special two, and the fight took 38 seconds. Let's continue, shall we? This is very interesting. Come on. Let's see what we got. So this time, let's see. All right. She didn't want to attack right away. I don't blame you. You see I have a regen? Yeah, Bishop regens. I can activate that as long as I... I think as long as I have prowesses. There we go, see? I can uh, get a bunch. Look at that. Max of five. But that does mean I didn't have as many prowesses, so it didn't do as much damage. But it did put an incinerate on her. Mm. This is nice. This is very nice. Let's see. Let me do a parry. Parry, build up my uh, incinerates. Okay. There we go. Mm. Look at the damage. Look at that. That's crazy. That is some crazy damage. Insane. Let's mess around with some uh, Juggernaut. A big Juggy. And 
And I have my bar from the last fight. So I'm going to go right on in there. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Come on. Okay. Now let's build up some. So glad this juggernaut can be stunned. All right. Let's hit him with it. Mm. Whoa. Forgot he's unstoppable. But he is taking a lot of damage. All right. I think I want to... Hmm. was able to give him a one-two punch. I want to build up to a special three. And uh, carry it on to the next fight. Because he's doing good damage anyway. Nasty with it. Okay. Look at that. Hmm. Okay, big rhino. I'm not sure if um, the more prowesses I have, the more damage the uh, special three does, but I think that's how he usually works. Okay, come on. Try and build some up. There we go. See what this looks like. It was I. <laughs> I'll tell you, against that Winter Soldier, it, 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 <laughs> that special two looked nasty. Okay, let me fire off a special one. Okay. Let's keep going. Boy, that damage. Okay. Well, didn't want that. Ooh. Ah, let's get him. Mm. And then you've got the incinerate on him. That's doing crazy damage. Lovely. Bishop, Bishop, nice. He nice with it. I likes it. My goodness. Now, there are some things. There's no... Um, there's no Korg here. I'm going to find a Korg to fight. And we're going to go uh, do that fight. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And I went to the Aunt May site wonderful site if you have not gone there already definitely check it out but i went to aunt may and i looked up korg and you see all this information here right but if you scroll down a little bit you got this section over here found in so instead of me having to try to remember where was a korg where did I remember fighting Korg? Well, here you go, right here. And where I decided to go was in 7.4.6. That's the Korg. Don't know anything about the nodes, but we're gonna look at it right now. All right, so let's switch over. That is the Korg. Here are the nodes that we're gonna be dealing with. All right, so Paradox Special. Uh, let me pop this up here so I can see it. Okay, there we go. Um, better to do that than to look down at the uh, iPad. Paradox, uh, special. All right, whenever I activate a special attack, I gain a paradox charge. Entropic burn. 
basically, uh, when I fire my special attacks, um, let me see. Yeah, I'll burn the uh, defender for 15% uh, for every paradox. So you want to be firing specials, which is not very good for me, but hopefully we won't have to do that for very long in this fight. Um, whenever the attacker performs a well-timed block, which is a parry, remove one paradox charge from the attacker. All right. And we're going to be doing that because I want to show you guys something. Quantum decay, um, inflicted with a concussion. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Avarice. Um, they're going to gain power, which is why you want to, you know, control their power with the, uh, your special attacks, but you can still bait them out. Okay. And then you have all of this. All right, let's do it. I've not done this fight with Bishop before. All right, so first we're gonna parry. I say we're gonna parry. There we go. Notice that he's stunned. That is something that happens with Bishop. Okay. They get replaced with a... Um, Passive stun. Okay. So I'm just parrying and hitting him with light attacks. Okay, so now I want to bait that special out. There we go. Okay. All right, now he's got those Rock stacks up again, so we want to parry. For some reason, parry's just not going well. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Got to get out of that corner. For some reason, he, he just backed me into a corner and I wasn't able to do anything. I wanted to fire off the special too. But this will work. <laughs> Special three. Still hurts. All right. Here we go. Let's hit him with that. And then light attacks. Okay, let's try to parry again. All right. Let's try to parry again. No. Okay, let's try a parry again. There we go. All right. Parry. There we go. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Parry. Uh-oh. Come on. Parry. There we go. Now I'll hit you with it. Okay. Didn't go quite as smooth as I would have liked, but I wanted to show you guys um, when Bishop parries and he gets it purified, um, it gets replaced with a, a stun, a passive stun. So he is a great counter for Korg. Very, very good counter for Korg. And I will probably bring him in when I decide to do my gauntlet run again. Um, we'll see. I, I probably will, but maybe not. Um, but I think he's a good, good option for that Korg. All right. Anyway, that is going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this, uh, Bishop fight. You got to see all of his specials and everything. Even got to see Korg, a nice little Korg fight. Um, but he's also very vicious on defense. As I mentioned, uh, earlier, he is good for defense uh, and I will be using him in Battlegrounds. So he is a double threat. You know, I can put him on defense or I can put him on offense. Put up those Korgs and I'll fight him if I don't have any other option with my Bishop. All right. So anyway, uh, take care and you all have a blessed day.